In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly explain the difference between using CSS and HTML, and I will also explain how you can use a color picker wheel to select the color for your site. First, we'll navigate to Glitch, which enables you to make your own website. I'll select a new project over here. Now, with Glitch, when you select a new HTML project, you will automatically get your kind of default HTML and your default CSS, which is nice if we're trying to demonstrate changes and demonstrate color. So you can see here we've got the index. Now the index is where our main code is, um, and it's also useful to edit individual lines of code. And you also have the CSS. Now CSS stands for cascading style sheets, which means that you can set the style for your entire page. Here, whereas if you edit in your index, you can usually only edit the style for an individual section of the page. Okay, so we're going to retain the default information. Let's type in W3 Schools Color Wheel or Color Picker. I'll give this link in the notes to the video. Now, the good thing about this wheel is you can just click on any shade of color you like and there's a code and that code you can actually enter directly into your HTML. So for example, um, let's imagine I want to change a single line of code in the body of my website. So I can type in here just a word like uh, I like chicken. Okay, um, now I should put in a opening and closing paragraph tag. Firstly, I'll just put P there and then P here to close it. And you can see the line has been added now. We can also change, well, there's one extra tag we don't need. Now, if I want to change the style, I can just type in P style equals, and then I want to type color without a U. Um, and then I want to put some quotation marks around the style. Okay, and then I simply need to take in, I can type in an actual color if I like. For example, red, and again, I've got to get rid of that. Um, so you can actually add, add the color, um, or you can add the code from the color wheel. Oh, it should be the other way around, I think. More like that. Okay, so there we go. And now you can see the color up here has changed to red. So it's an important thing to remember just this little format. So we have style equals, then the quotation mark, then color, then a colon, and then red. Okay, so we've changed the color of that particular line of our code. Now, you can also go to the CSS and you can change the color of entire sections. Now, obviously you can see this is quite tricky. There's a lot going on here, but you can recognize particular elements. So for example, heading two, this is heading one, down here we have heading two. So if I wanted to just change that section to red, it's as simple as replacing this tag with whatever color I want from my color wheel. Copy it and paste it in, in the right location after the colon. And then you'll see down here it's changed. Or if I want to change the hello world a little bit higher up, we can set the heading here. And you can see when I change that, it changes the entire title. Um, so I would suggest you explore the CSS in a little bit more detail and try and change the colors of various sections there as well to get a grip on how it functions.